Number 15, this is attractively tall 1945p Jefferson nickel in MS67 condition. The 1945p nickel is very common in circulated grades up to MS60, but starting from MS67, they become extremely scarce. Reverse side of this coin is not sharply struck on Monticello, therefore it did not meet the requirements for full steps designation. Nevertheless, it was sold for $1320. Number 14, here is 1912 Lincoln Cent in PR66 plus brown condition. These vividly toned Lincoln Cent exhibits underlying cobalt blue color to dominant deep antique copper patina. A smooth fully struck satin to matte like gem from a mintage of 2172 proofs. It was sold for $2880 in 2023. Number 13, 1948 D-Dime, in MS68 condition with full bands. The surfaces are virtually flawless, complemented by a bold strike and vibrant mint luster. Original yellow, gold, mint green and lilac toning graces each side. PCGS reported only 14 specimens in this grade, including the superb gem. It was sold for $3,360. Number 12, here is 1967 Business Strike Kennedy of Dollar in MS67 plus condition. Blushes of rose deepen at the obverse rim to iridescent patina, including burgundy, blue, gold, and charcoal. The surfaces of this piece showcase exceptional preservation, as expected from high grade. While the 1967 SMS Kennedys are common at this grade level, the 1967 Business Strikes most assuredly are not. This gem ended up selling for $4,347.50. Number 13, 1960 Jefferson Nickel and PR69 Deep Cameo Condition. Stunning top of a pop ultra gem quality for this otherwise readily obtainable proof Jefferson Nickel issue. Exceptionally well preserved and virtually pristine, the surfaces are untoned to allow a full appreciation of strong field to device contrast. It was sold for $4,560 in June 2023. Number 10. This is 1909 S Lincoln Sand with repunched mint mark. So called S over horizontal S, graded in mint state 66 plus red condition by PCGS and proven by CAC. Beautiful light rose surfaces are fully frosted and finished with razor sharp striking detail and virtually pristine surfaces. FS1502 is a perennially popular repunched meat mark variety from the premier year of the Lincoln Sand series. It was sold for $4,200 in 2023. Number 9, this is 1942S Mercury Dime in MS68 condition with star and full bands designations. A vividly toned and highly attractive piece, a blush of pale mauve in the center of the reverse interrupts otherwise dominant cobalt blue iridescence. Intensely lustrous with outstanding surface preservation, it was sold for $6,000 in 2023. Number 8, here is 1937 Lincoln Sent in PR67 red condition. This exceptional superb gem proof is alive with fire orange red color on deeply mirrored surfaces. The eye appeal is nothing shy of magnificent and the surfaces reveal no blemishes or marks. One of just 9320 proofs of the date struck in the second year of proof coinage after hiatus in such productions that occurred from 1917 to 1935. It was sold for $6,600 in June 2023. Number 7, 1925 D. Lincoln Cent in MS65 Plus Red Condition. The 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent is often called the King of Lincoln Cents. However, Despite being abundant and low grade, the 1925D is far scarcer in full red gem. Most mint state examples either have mushy strikes, browning, 
or spots, making this piece, which features none of those drawbacks, a remarkable survivor, with brilliant rose-red surfaces and exceptional strike for this usually weak issue, it is an extraordinarily attractive coin fit for top-notch collection of Lincolns. It was sold for $7,200. Number 6, 1942 Washington quarter dollar in PR68 condition, attractively toned CAC proven specimen. The brilliant centers of this gem proof quarter are surrounded by concentric halos of crimson blue and sea green, elliptical in nature on the obverse and perfect circles on the reverse. It was sold for $8,225. Number 5, 1983 Lincoln Sands struck on a copper planchet. Only handful are known of these rare wrong planchet errors. Grade that's AU58 by PCGS. With 95% copper, 5% zinc, and weighing 3.1 grams. This planchet error is similar in nature to the 1943 copper cents and occurred in precisely the same manner. The U.S. Mint has transitioned to using zinc-coated steel planchets for Lincoln Sands in 1982 to reduce production costs and prevent the widespread hoarding of copper cents. However, a few copper planchets from the previous year were left in a production mix and were fed into coin presses in 1983. These copper planchets became mixed with zinc-coated steel planchets and resulted in some Lincoln Sands being struck on the wrong planchet. This rare error coin ended up selling for $11,750. Number 4. 1913 Lincoln Penny in MS67 red condition. Pale copper pink surfaces prevail on this bright yet slightly satiny superb gem while an area at the upper right reverse has a richer peach hue. The detail is crisp and while minor carbon is noted at the left of worst rim and the lower reverse, the all-around eye appeal remains excellent. It was sold for $16,100. Number 3. This is 1964 Kennedy of Dollar in PR68 Ultra Cameo Condition, highly sought after accented hair variety. The 1964 accented hair variety is actually a subtype of initial Kennedy of Dollar issue of 1964. This issue with its bold part in President Kennedy's hair is seldom found with black and white contrast and it is highly elusive in PR68 Ultra Cameo. This superb gem is fully brilliant with frosty silver devices and deeply mirrored fields. It was sold for $19,975. Number 2. 1916D Mercury Dime in MS65 condition. This example of the key date 1916D Dime offers remarkable gem uncirculated quality. Lovely surfaces are dusted with iridescent champagne pink toning that so light that the coin looks nearly brilliant. The strike is sharp, and were it not for a tiny, ill-placed vertical mark over the central crossbands of the facets, PCGS would likely have included a full bands designation as part of a grade. Smooth overall and highly appealing, this gem ended up selling for $28,800 in spring 2023. Number 1 1932D Washington Quarter in MS65 Plus condition. The 1932D Washington Quarter is a key date coin in the series and is highly sought after by collectors. It was minted at the Denver Mint in 1932 and is considered the second rarest date in Washington Quarter series after 1932S. The plus designation suggests that the coin is of exceptional quality for its assigned grade. Additionally, the CAC label indicates that the coin has been verified and approved by a certified acceptance corporation, an independent company that evaluates PCGS and NGC graded coins for quality and originality. CEC approval adds to the coin's desirability and market value. This gem ended up selling for $29,250 with buyer's fee in 2023. Thank you for joining us today on this fascinating journey through the world of exceptionally rare coins. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing discoveries like this. Have a good one.